This is the first cyclocross bike I have owned in several years. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why I got this bike and what I plan to do with it. Now, I'll say that even though cyclocross racing may be dying in some parts of the country, as it has in my area, I do not think cyclocross bikes are becoming irrelevant, and I'll explain why in this video. So first of all, why did I get this bike? I had a Look 765 Optimum Endurance Road Bike, super sweet road bike that Look let me use for a while. They gave it to me for the Marmon Alps. I was able to hold on to it for a while, but it was time to give it up. And I need a bike to keep on the trainer. Even though I don't do Zwift very often, when I do need it, I really like doing it. And so I wanted to get a bike that could live on the trainer because if I have to go get the bike out of the garage, take it upstairs, take the wheel off, put it on the trainer, I'm just not going to do the Zwift workout. I'm so busy, I need efficiency. And so I thought, what kind of bike should I get in a cyclocross bike? And this is a Carbon, this is a giant TCX, really sweet bike. I'll make a separate video of showing this bike up close, doing a first look. I've already ridden this bike on a few rides and it's, I'm having a blast on this bike. And again, I'll talk about that coming up in the video, but it's full carbon. And on Zwift, I really need a bike that's a carbon frame because the roads are really rough. <laughs> totally kidding. <laughs> but no, I wanted a bike that I could use on the trainer, but I could also use in uh, a race every once in a while and then riding. So we have one cyclocross race left in my area and it's fairly close to my house. It's a great race. It's on a farm. It's a super cool course. It's, it's usually a swamp, like it's muddy, but like half the course. So it's nice to have a cyclocross race bike, but I would not buy a cyclocross bike just for one race. I wanted a bike that again, could be on the trainer, but I could also use outside. And what I'm gonna do with this bike is First of all, I'm going to do like cyclocross style riding, which is really fun. So I'm going to set up around my house a little cyclocross course. I've still got my barriers that I made out of PVC, the regu regulation height. So I'm going to set those up, do some practice and, you know, just go out after work and do a little course and just see if I can improve my lap time and whatnot. But more than that, several years ago, I did a project where I compared a cyclocross bike to a gravel bike. I'm going to kind of resurrect that project to see after spending many years on a carbon gravel bike, what it's like to ride a cyclocross bike again on dirt roads. And I'll tell you, I've already taken it out on a few dirt roads and I forgot how much fun it is to ride a cyclocross bike that is steeper angles, it's lighter, it's more agile, and it's just so fun to ride. I did a ride, I'm up in North Georgia right now and pardon the rain, it's been raining all day at this cabin, but I did a ride like 30 something miles, just planned a route and I had a blast. I mean, going up the steep hills around here, um, having a, a really responsive bike, you know, cross bikes, I'm not gonna get really much into the differences in this video, but they're more compact. The, the, the rear wheel is tucked in a little bit more. Like I said, it's lighter and it's just a blast to ride and, and, and the agility even though you got to pay a little bit more attention to the bike as far as the handling, that makes it fun. And so I, I really, I'm really enjoying it, but back to the project. So I want to kind of resurrect that project and compare a cross bike to a gravel bike. Like many of you out there who ride gravel, you probably started on a cyclocross bike like I did. I've had a lot of cyclocross bikes. I was super into cyclocross racing. And in fact, I even made a video <laughs> many years ago why I sold my gravel bike, because the cross bike was just perfect for what I was doing. Now, I ended up going to Fort Collins, Colorado and riding a carbon Niner RLT9. Previously, I'd been on aluminum and steel, but once I got on a carbon gravel bike, I was like, oh, okay, this is pretty sweet. But I'm telling you, a soccer cross bike can be the perfect gravel bike for a lot of you if you don't do what I call extreme gravel. When I say extreme, I mean extreme distances, extreme speeds because you don't want to take a cross bike down a really loose sketchy gravel road at high speeds if you could have a gravel bike but if you're not doing like really long rides and you're doing fast rides and you're not doing multi-day rides so you don't need to carry like you know panniers and you don't need all the bolt-ons and stuff like that the simplicity of a bike like this 
could be perfect for you. And you'll see in my first look, this bike has clearance for pretty wide tires, at least 40, probably even 45s. I've got 45s on my, my gravel bike, so I may just put the wheels on and see if they'll fit. But because cyclocross bikes are designed to go through mud and mud can pack up around a tire, you're gonna have ton of tire clearance to be able to put larger tires. So my point is, for many of you out there, a cyclocross bike could be the perfect gravel bike. And again, I'm gonna revisit that topic and I'm gonna talk about how this does compared to a gravel bike. So again, just a really short video of why I got a cyclocross bike, what I'm gonna be doing with it and why it could be a perfect bike for you for riding gravel, depending on your needs. And I'll do my first look on this bike. And then, like I said, many videos to follow as I get more into this resurrected project. So thanks for watching and drop in the comments below if you ride gravel, do you ride a cyclocross bike or do you ride a gravel bike or do you think they're all the same and we're crazy for categorizing it in two separate categories because I've had people tell me that. And there's honestly a little bit of merit to that because if you can put gravel tires on a cyclocross bike for gravel riding and then you know make a few tweaks for a cyclocross race like i said if you're not doing extreme gravel stuff this could be the great gravel bike for you so anyway that's it i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching